Yeah, hi there. These comments are for, I'm just going to use your initials, uh, F-E, and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the seven-step system to pass the TOEFL IBT. And I'm going to listen to your pronunciation pretest right now. So let's go ahead and I'm going to pull up both screens here. Okay, here we go. Pot. Pot. Mop. Mop. Tack. Talk. On. On. All right. Mac. Mock. Bright, brown, broil, lie, loud, loyal, high, pound, gate, get, okay, late, let, mate, met. Blade, bled, Dane, then. Meet, meet. Pete, Pete. Okay, it's not making the volume lower, but you want to say both words the same with the same volume. Meet, met. Pete, pit. It's not Pete Pitt. You, you can pronounce them equally, pretty much, you know, with the same stress. You just have to make the one sound longer than the other. That's the main thing with that one. Leap. Leap. Sit. Sit. Hit. Hit. Now, you need to work on this lesson. So, again, don't change the volume of the two words. Pronounce each word equally with the same stress, with the same volume. Just make the one sound longer than the other. For example, repeat after me. Meet, mit, peat, pit, leap, lip, seat, sit, heat, hit. Look, look. Look. Took. Yeah, hold on one second. Give me a minute. Took. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, let's keep going. Tough. Good. Cool. Match. Mash, ship, ship. Okay, be careful on this one that, that CH and SH. You have cheap, sheep, but you're more saying cheap, cheap. So you have to make a distinction between those two the CH and the SH sound. Fisher, Fisher, Chaft, Chaft. Cheer. Cheer. Okay, you need to work on, on this one. This is definitely a lesson that you want to work on in order for you to solve some of the intelligibility problems you're having right now. Off. Off. Half. Half. Fine. Wine. Okay, be careful on this one. So... Your first language is Spanish, so in Spanish, the V, it kind of sounds like a B, so you have to pronounce that with more vibration. So I'm going to say, fine van, fan van. So you have, you have to make sure it's not like fan ban, but it's fan van. Fun, fun, way 
offer waiver. So you definitely want to work on lesson 14 as well. How? Habit. Who? Rehash. Behavior. Hate. Batman. Beaten. Important. Brightening. Hat track. Threaten. Now, one of the differences between American and British English is what we call in linguistics the glottal stop. So when you're saying those final pair, pairs of words, you're saying Batman, bitten, important, brightening, hat rack, threatened. A lot of native speakers, though, they're going to say Batman, bitten, important, brightening, hat rack, and threatened. So the glottal stop in lesson number 16, you can also study that. That's going to help you speak more naturally and help you sound like a native speaker if you can get a handle on learning how to pronounce that sound. Major. Measure. Fragile. Pressure. That one's also hard. So you got fragile, fragile. Frazier. So it's kind of like a J and a Z kind of coming together. We call this a palatal consonant. Legend. Legend. No, no, it's not legend, legend. It's legend, lesion, lesion. So those words are completely different words. You definitely don't want to pronounce those as the same. Engine. Assure. Large. Asia Cake Kick Sink Suck Game Game Cup Gub okay. Lake Lug What's that Lean. phone thing I'm hearing? I, I keep hearing your phone in the background there. What is going on? I'm hearing some kind of like you're dialing a number of some sort. But anyway, back to the <coughs> the K and the G. So you have lake, lag, sink, sag. So when that G's at the end, the vowel which precedes that G should be longer. You want to pronounce that vowel a little bit longer. Rear. Better. Lucas. Other. Right. Okay. Light. Committed. Good. Pace. Base. All right, you're working on that P. That's good. You're trying to pronounce that with more air. Flap. Flap. Cup. Cup. Love. Love. Pay. Bay. Lice. Lice. Sip. Sip. Now you gotta work on that. The S and the Z again, I think in Spanish they're more similar, but in English we don't really pronounce them. This. We have sip, zip. Su, zoo. Su, zu, mais, mais, Eliza, Eliza, multiple, rubber, example, pressure, principle, number, okay, good, people, Philosopher Volcanism Written Maximin Question Summer Reason Chasm Often Tip Tip 
card card tight tight pronounce the T with more air so it's not tight but tight tied tip dip so we want to make sure we can differentiate between the T and the D both of your consonants but the T is a voiceless consonant the D is a voice consonant with the T we got to put a little bit more aspiration in our vocal track when we say it train brain fat fat thin train Thigh. Thigh. Breath. Breathe. Teeth. Teeth. True. Do. Worth. Worthy. This one too, I think, this is a interdental voiced and voiceless consonant. Listen, 24. If you take a look at two words, for example, thigh, thigh, breath, breathe. So you got to get that tongue between the teeth, and then you have to pronounce it, forcing the air out there. So a little bit of trouble with that. What's going on in there? What is your education background in your work history? I studied in the seminary in Tijuana, Mexico, all the philosophy and theology. After that, I was sent to Rome in order to get a licentiate in moral theology. Coming back to Mexico, I was teacher during seven years in the same seminary. Go back to the word seven and be careful. Not years, but seven years. I know in Spanish that Y sound is, you pronounce it a little bit different than what we do in English, but again, seven years. When I was a student, and talking with my bishop, I requested an experience as a priest in the United States, and that way I can improve my English. Okay. Since my arrival to San Bernardino five years ago, I only had the chance to take six months of English in the University of Riverside. What is important for you to improve your speaking and pronunciation abilities of American English? I moved in July to a board Monday parish. Every month, I only celebrate three months in Spanish and like 35 months in English. I am receiving many requests to give sermons, talks, retreats, in counseling, okay. primordial in English. If I want to continue working for this diocese, I need to be a bilingual priest. Okay, fair enough. What do you hope to achieve in this course? To be more friendly, communicating in English. Correct my accent and incorporate more confi confidence okay. in my pronunciation. All right. Well, thank you, um, Reverend, for completing this pretest. And uh, right now, here are some lessons that you can focus on right now in order to continue to improve your intelligibility of American English. You might want to write these down. Lesson number 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 23, and lesson number 24. Now, each of these lessons... Uh, when you go into the, the video, you'll see a voice recording exercise at the end of each of those videos. There'll be a voice recording exercise one and a voice recording exercise two. So once you've practiced the video and you've gone through all the sounds and you feel comfortable, then you can do a voice recording and then send that back to me just like you just did today. And then I can continue to monitor and give you feedback on helping you to reduce your accent. And by the way, you've only had six months of English instruction since coming from Mexico, so I would say that you're doing a fantastic job. I mean, it's quite incredible, really. I mean, you speak fairly fluently, you have good command, I think, of the vocabulary and the grammar. You do have a non-native speaker accent, but, I mean, you're still doing a pretty good job there. And part of my job is to continue to help you improve so that you can speak 
more confidently and more fluently to the people in the San Bernardino area. Alright, anyway, thank you for completing the pretest, and bye-bye. Uh,